Okay, we have a simple passage of text with no pictures. All of these words are usually three-letter words, CVC, consonant, vowel, consonant, or they're sight words. We're going to read through this story three times to do a guided reading. The first time, I'm going to read the story to you, but I'll be pointing to each word I read, so watch as well as listen. The second time through, we'll do an echo read. That's where I will point to words and read them, and then you read the words that I point to. So you're echoing, repeating back. The third time comes with lots and lots of practice, and that's where you do an independent read by yourself, no help from me, but you'll be reading the words that I point to. And we're trying to get your reading fluency or speed up to the same speed that you would normally talk at. All right, let's get started with just listening to the story, but watch each word I point to. Tim and Kip. Tim has a pig. Tim calls him Kip. Pigs dig to eat. Kip digs to eat. Kip will dig in the pit. Kip bit his lip. Kip hit his rib. A pig with a hit rib and a bit lip cannot dig. Tim helps Kip the pig. Tim will fix Kip's bit lip and his hit rib. Kip digs and digs. Now Kip can eat. All right, this time I'm going to read and then you're going to read. Look at the words I point to. We'll start with the title. Mr. C's turn. Tim and Kip. Your turn. Mr. C's turn. Tim has a pig. Your turn. Mr. C's turn. Tim calls him Kip. Your turn. Mr. C's turn. Pigs dig to eat. Your turn. Mr. C's turn. Kip digs to eat. Your turn. Mr. C's turn. Kip will dig in the pit. Your turn. Mr. C's turn. Kip bit his lip. Your turn. Mr. C's turn. Kip hit his rib. Your turn. Mr. C's turn. A pig with a hit rib. Your turn. Mr. C's turn. And a bit lip cannot dig. Your turn. So if you get a long sentence like that, break it up into two parts. All right, Mr. C's turn. Tim helps Kip the pig. Your turn. Mr. C's turn. Tim will fix Kip's bit lip. Your turn. Mr. C's turn. And his hit rib. Your turn. Mr. C's turn. Kip digs and digs. Your turn. Mr. C's turn. Now Kip can eat. Your turn. Good job. Keep practicing that echo reading over and over until you can do it all by yourself with no mistakes and you're reading about the same speed that you would talk. Okay, let's do it our third time now after lots of practice. This is called an independent read. So I'm going to point to the words and you read them. Here we go. 
Your turn. Good job. Keep practicing.